Christmas. Where's my Christmas presents? Over there. Oh, it's getting so warm that I actually sleep with the windows open. I've never done that before. I didn't even know these birds can fly. If you can even see it. Even I can't see it. Where is it? There.
We're going to the car park to get some shade for a little bit because I'm just going to charge my car up. I'm spending my Christmas day lunch. At the car park trying to get shit sorted. Um, just having a sandwich and I got told off by uh, ma I was making a sandwich and I got told off by security for <coughs> having the fridge plugged in, I understand that, so I disconnected it. I got it run for an hour, so that's better than that, I guess. There's a critter here in the car park. Mm. Going up to the lookout at Coffs Harbour. I would take Caitlin to the beach today, but we just had a shower. Well, she just had a shower today, as you saw. Look at those. No. My camera work doesn't do it justice, sorry. I gotta say, you've been kind to me. I've uh, been having a rough week and it's uh, certainly good to have a break, a rest. And I just noticed the clouds reflection off the ocean there. You can see right in the middle.
Oh. Yeah. Katie. Okay, that's enough. back in the car. <laughs> Alright, we're going crazy. So I was just exploring around trying to find a, a sneaky place to camp. To a creek crossing, which I'm sure I could make, but. In 500 meters, make a U turn. Pretty new car. And not just that. It's riddled with bullet holes. I should point out that <clears throat> generally I just try not to do some crazy four wheel drive tracks. Um, a, it's not really my thing. But B. like a good spot. Let's have a look. But B, because I'm so far from home and this is pretty much all my belongings that I'm carrying with me, it's uh it's not worth the risk to to do those sort of things when you know it can mean so much Hazard for me and Caitlin. So just generally try not to do anything too extreme, like that river crossing before. That was nothing. It was like 10 centimeters. So I've done stuff like that plenty of times, but just uh, when you don't know what's ahead and you're by yourself out in the middle of nowhere, so far from home, it's not worth the risk. Just like my drone, I could have jumped in. I, I was confident that I probably could have retrieved it, but not confident enough to take the risk like that. You know? So yeah, bye. Supposedly we are at the campsite now. Oh, so hard to get into. 
my trusty everyday carry bag. I think I already know what it is. Yes, it's a copy, so not a plug or anything, but my friend Cheryl. It is a plug, what am I on about? Um, she sells these, I think, on Instagram, which is nice there, boba friendly glass cup. I hope that didn't break it. Oh, it comes with a cute little carry bag. Oh, that's what a straw. That's exactly what I need, a straw. A metal straw. Oh, it's black and it's got a pointy tip. That's nice. <laughs> Solid. And it's branded, cuppy. Cute. Ah, oh, this is for cleaning out your nose. I guess I don't need to treat it fragile, because, uh, like it's fragile, because it's been in my car since I left Melbourne, and it's made it the whole way there. Oh, she even chose Army Green for me. Cute. That's solid. I've seen them use this at the gym, and it doesn't leak. Like, they'll turn it upside down and shake it like crazy. Actually, could use a glass this big. All my cups are so small, so thanks, Cheryl. I'll use this shortly. After. Right, so next up, you would have already seen from my video yesterday. I didn't have a chance to wrap it yet, but ta-da! It's the Aston Martin Lego set that my mum, I guess, purchased for me. If I have time, I'll probably build this tonight. Very nice. And finally, also from my mum, because she gave me money to buy presents. Oh, Caitlin, that's not a food. It sounds like food, but it's not. Uh, screw in tent pegs. Now, I wanted to uh, put this out so I can test them, because the ground that we're on right now, it's rock hard, so we're going to try them right this second. Katie, I'm done. So I'm hoping they'll allow me to. There's a magnet in there, but it doesn't really hold it. No, it does. Okay, let's try this out. So I'm my cordless drill. The other campsite did look a bit softer. So let's go check out the other campsites just down the road a bit. my flare had cracked so I added a bracket behind it just to reinforce it for now I'll weld that up once I get home that'll hold for now it was wobbling before this one is okay at the back but this one has a crease in it now which I could probably pull out if I really wanted to that's not a big deal. I've got these bush pinstripes all along the passenger side, but I think it's light. Should be able to wash it off. It extends all the way to the front of the car. So it must have got really close to a bush at some time. And yeah, that's about it. Time for some 
candy cane. So while I've got some time, enjoy my Christmas presents, especially we're gonna make a drink recipe and I need to hydrate. As I was saying, this does not leak apparently. Let's give it a go. Nothing. Dry. Let's have a drink. What is that? Straw? Oh well. No straw. Yeah, need some more water. Mm, much better. And then next, we're going to move on to the Aston Martin. Let's get this okay. Trusty everyday carry. On the instructions, there's these progress bars. So on the next page, it's there. On the next page, it's moved on. That's so neat. That's new. So clever. Finally finished. Look at it. It's magnificent. Such a classic car, the DB5. I love it. So many new building techniques and a few new parts that I've never seen before. It's a very, very clever build. Let's put Bondi in. You can sit in there. They sit on the left in the UK, I believe. Or maybe not. The steering wheel is on the right. Can't see, but he has an ejector seat. Yeah, ejector seat lever. It doesn't actually do anything. But yeah, it's so neat. Bombies in there. I like the way that they did the bumper. How it's half out. That was very intricate these little cow horns that they use as the bumper shocks. That's clever. And also the bonnet. It's so intricate how they made these uh, gradients on here. It's hard to make out, but yeah, it's very complex. So yeah, there we go. Thank you, mom. Looks just like a picture. And thank you, Cheryl. All right, that's it.
Thanksgiving Christmas. I'm gonna make one of my favorite craft meals, which is Dragonoff. I love Dragonoff. Okay. I never make it at home. Like, ne not once have I made it at home. Smells all right. Struggling off. Struggling off. 